this one's rather to work their way out of defence. Fox found Papley, and his kick was aggressive through the middle. We'll talk about that in a moment. Hills come off second best, crunched in the hip, but appears from early sight. Rampy made his path to the footy, had to back up from Lloyd, but the Saints through King, out to Sinclair, left foot kick to the goal square, and Gresham got away. No one near him, and the Saints still get the first. Savage, as we mentioned, a late inclusion for Severos for the Saints. Sets them up by driving wide. Clark just poked it forward. Oh, Coffield left it behind. An opening for Sam Reed. The hands were slick. Well, let's see if this can get things started. He can for the Swans. Papley has won. Brings it back to Dawson. And then out the other side. Hayward. Up to half forward. Taylor takes the mark. Roger Taylor settles on full forward. As the destination for this one, and Blakey shows his athleticism and his marking prowess. Wilkie. Big gun was again flying memory that time. Hind got her onto the left boot, and I tell you what, he's hit the spot. King, it's going to beat. Yeah. She was a nice block in the ruck there. Put it back for Steele, and now Hunter Clark intruding into the forward line with a sharp left foot. It splits the middle perfectly. Saints go a fraction too fast for mine. He's got a free out of that high. He goes short to steal. He just sets it up for Marshall, who just couldn't fight. Oh. He was super courageous, but he was just running into the worst possible spot. He's cleaned one up as well. Yeah, that was uh, as courageous a spoil as you would see. Leah, Sinclair, Geary, goes a second time, a bit more success, Gresham, the extra handball from Membry, back to battle, it's coming, it's coming, it's there! Last week we're kicking 12 goals, one will do, not quite as accurate today, Marshall's missed a couple, but he's back in the ruck at the moment, Caulfield sends the handball Billings way, and again, dynamic out of the middle. Thumping kick goes all the way to the square. Oh. And at the back, Gresham. Run it beautifully. No whistle, and Butler's gone. And the handball's back, and that just slowed the, the progress down a, a fraction, but they've controlled it pretty well. Now it's in dangerous hands. Hill misses the pass, but Sinclair good enough to reel it in. One more, Butler's going to take it himself, and why not? Can the Swans generate something? Taylor trying to do his best, but he handballs it straight to Caulfield. And suddenly everything swings the other way. Still, Swans haven't really got defensively out of Kilton, but King still takes the mark anyway. Patton, I guess, one of them, and also Caulfield and Clark getting regular games now for the Saints, which is great to see for their future. Gray sends it Papley's way, hasn't seen a lot of it so far. Off to Florent, they need a bounce to go their way, and it does. End on end, they slide one home just on the bell. And he looks up, does Rowan Marshall, thumps it up along the wing, it's directed at home. Great kick. Great kick, an outstanding run into position. And Parker with the slider. Not many Ruckman could kick the ball like Rowan Marshall just then. Probably three or four in the competition could do that. There's not many big guys like Rowan Marshall, is there? Patton deep, here he is. Fox did a good job at the death. Florence kick shut down, as you saw. Parker made the move, and Jones is perfectly positioned. Zach Jones, the former Swan, would like nothing better than to thread that right through for his sadness. And he's done it. We just saw after the Zach Jones goal a couple of minutes ago, and Jake Carlisle paid particular attention to Dane Rampey's broken hand in this little fracas. I just see left of screen there. He's gone after that. Something the AFL aren't overly fond of these days. Battle, Billings. Hind v Ling. Bell takes them outside. Rampey. The gloved one, thread the handball through to Bell. Top of the square, Taylor's going to run. He didn't jump in here. Oh. Sinclair got enough. 
The defensive 50 is full of Saints. But the sliding McCartan has it in the pocket. A conversion here. And there'll be real genuine hope for the Sydney Swans. It's high and it is dead straight. Needed a statement. Got one. Return last week. Jack Sinclair, 15 disposals, had five inside 50s. Oh. Yes. And his name ran all over it, but couldn't complete the job. Swans defence have to be quick and clean. They were, were not able to be, and the penalty is a great one. <laughs> Advantage. Gresham was onto it quickly. Kickers probing Sinclair v Fox. Still there. Hine slapped it back. Oh, oh. memory. Misty chance that time. Battle. A losing battle it was that time. But, oh, Butler, as he does so often, pops up and kicks a goal. Look, Gresham trying to act not interested here. He hasn't fooled you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, King. That was all a little easy. Geary popped it over and he's put it through. So the Swans need to dig in here. Ling did his best. Marshall hacks it forward. It's back in front of goal again. Ryder looking to dish it. Hine, those legs are pumping again. And he's put that one through for his third. Takes on the kick. Oh, regret it now. Clark casually. Found Jones in plenty of space. Hit the ground, but great chase from Ling. Was it in the back? We've seen a lot of those paid of late. Not this time. Jones kept on coming. Off to Geary, just space to get a kick and get a goal if you don't mind for the skip. Three score involvements. Yeah, he's enjoyed himself against his old team. Gray wobbles the ball forward. Rare opportunity in this last quarter for the Swans Forge to get a good look at it. Parker thumped it and it lands in the hands of McCartan. It just poses so many questions for the opposition if they can't match this speed. Steele pumps it high for King v Rampy again. Rampy always recovers so quickly, but the door was still ajar. King's going to kick his third. Personal best for Max. Good one, Max. 